No, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. You see, I was just reading a good book, watching a good movie. Well, as long as you're in for Sumerian incantations, that is. Well, maybe he's for later. Anyhow, we have a movie to review for the 13 days of Halloween. Behold, The Watcher in the Woods. Now I know that some people will be like, why would you review this? This movie was actually pretty damn good. Pretty impressive. Very effective. And what's surprising is, this is a Disney film. It has rights, mystery, and a unique setup. Not many films can claim this. I would, again, like to show more, but unfortunately, I'll be lucky if I get any video. The audio won't capture in this room anymore like it used to because of the new computer's equipment and design. Now, I'll live with that. But it doesn't mean it's a complete waste if you get my drift. It's actually pretty well done. This is also the Blu-ray, which is, unfortunately, oh uh, yeah, Betty Davis. Very difficult to get. Needless to say, though, I do have it. Notice it says Disney Blu-ray edition. Sorry if you're off and getting a glare. But hey, you gotta work with what you gotta work with. The film really does start out with this young couple with their two children, well, middle-aged, one of them's a teenager for crying out loud, coming to this town. See? Take a look. Well, okay. Whoa. There we go. I believe one of the parents is British and the other is American. You see the youngest right there, there's the oldest, and there's the Betty Davis character. They're basically renting the house out for the particular weekend and stuff. And what happens is they start to experience strange material, you know, a girl in glass. They feel this thing moving around them. And a question starts becoming clear. What's going on? They're being watched. And this leads to the title of the movie, The Watcher in the Woods. Now, to be fair, this has been remade starring, uh, I believe, Angelica Houston. I could be wrong. As the new uh, older lady. But... I think the original was the best place to start with. This is a fantastic movie. It's well done, and it still holds up very well to this day. It also, at one point, was very difficult to get your hands on this movie. I am not kidding. This was a hard movie to get your hands on back in the day. So, there's that. As you can see here, we're setting up the family, and we're getting everything done. So, let's go on a little bit more. Remember, can't show too much, or YouTube will say, oh! We've got to monetize you now. Hmm. Okay, that was a little creepy. I didn't plan that. As you can see, the house itself is starting to become a character. Yeah, you can tell by that clothing, this is definitely the 70s. Oh, yeah, that's right. But one of the big things comes from mirrors. You'll never look too safe in a mirror again now, will you? It's either this stuff or, whoa. Pretty cool, huh? Towards her reflection. I don't think she got bit by a vampire in that amount of time. I mean, just... Holy shit. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. The chick is literally in a piece of glass that's just been cut. You can't see anything else. And there she is, blindfolded. And this does play into part of how what's going to happen later in the movie does, and also everything else. And at first you're like, well, they should just leave. Well, they try that, and there's an entire sequence of the movie that sort of makes that a non-compliance if you get my drift. Oh, a lot of non-compliance. Hey, with something that's otherworldly or undead wants your attention, unless you have the ability to really run, I would pay attention. Just saying. As you can see here, like I said, this movie 
definitely does build up on the creepy. I mean, you just saw a part of this sequence. This is how the film goes. Now, as the film goes, you also have the youngest daughter being affected. You have the oldest daughter trying to piece together what's happened. You have all these other characters and stuff who are also dealing with the events connected to this girl and many, many years ago. Like I said, there's a mystery here. That's also the other thing that makes this movie really fun. There's a mystery. You don't know what's going on. Oh, I kind of like that. Gives you nice chills, don't it? This is actually a really good movie to watch on Halloween. It's scary, yes. It is, however, family-friendly. It is a Disney movie. But it's one of their old movies. And there's also a remake if you want to see a different take on it. Um, that will be probably what I review next year. Kind of like how the year before this or a couple of years I did The Haunting and then I did the 1999 this year. So there's that to take in. And I'll also be doing that with The Haunted Mansions too. This year we're getting the Eddie Murphy one and then next year will be the other one. But I am going to watch that. Probably after I'm done with all these videos. Just for the hell of it. And then I got some other stuff I got to do. Needless to say... Good movie. Well designed. Again, this is just a taste. I do want you to actually be able to see this movie for yourself. I don't want to spoil the plot, but I am going to recommend it because it is a lot of fun. And yeah, I know some reviewers are like, yeah, let's just go to the entire end of the movie and explain it all. No, don't do that. You have to see how this ends. Also, I should note that this version of the movie has um, when these Blu-rays and even the, some of the DVD versions you'll get your hands on. There are like between two to three different endings they didn't use for the film, including what the watcher actually looks like. And um, although it's kind of cool, I do agree. Sometimes it's better not to see your monster. It's always the old adage of it's what you don't see that's scarier. This movie does an impressive job with that in so many ways. I'm not going to lie. It could be better, but it could be a hell of a lot worse. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hero Reaper. Like and subscribe to the bell for notification, and I'll see you on the next 13 days of Halloween. Bye.